Good morning to you. I'm Misty O'Malley with Chet Lehman coming right up on the six o'clock hour here on your Tuesday. Our top story for you now. The first day of hearings for Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh begins this morning. No questions will be asked today, only opening statements, but over the next few days he's expected to face extreme scrutiny as senators from both sides of the aisle question him on a wide variety of topics. CBS's Laura Podesta has more. All eyes will be on the Senate Judiciary Committee this morning when Brett Kavanaugh sits down for his Supreme Court confirmation hearing. So the big question is whether or not there will be just one or two Republicans who will be willing to cross over. Democrats can't block his confirmation on their own, so they're expected to press the appellate judge on a number of hot button issues, especially health care and abortion. First and foremost is the fact that this president said, I'm not going to put a man on the Supreme Court unless he's going to overturn Roe versus Wade and the Affordable Care Act. Even Republicans admit it's a possibility. If there's a case before him that challenges Roe v. Wade, that he would listen to both sides of the story, apply a test to overturn precedent. That could be enough to swing Senators Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins, two Republicans who support abortion rights. It's not normal because we are not able to see 100,000 documents. In recent days, Democrats have also been raising the alarm over a lack of transparency after the Trump administration blocked thousands of documents related to Kavanaugh's time in the Bush White House. And less than 24 hours before the hearing, a lawyer for former President Bush released 42,000 new documents. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer called it absurd, tweeting, not a single senator will be able to review these records before tomorrow. Laura Podesta, CBS News. Now, a Twitter account for Republican Senator Chuck Grassley, chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, responded to Senator Schumer, saying his team reviewed all 42,000 pages and they say they're ready for the hearing. And that begins later this morning. And much more to follow. For sure.